Hey guys, Anchor Goat here. I just want to get with you guys today. I've got a project today and I wanted to show you guys how I prepare my projects before I put any drill holes or any scroll, any scroll cuts in it. So what we're doing is I'm going to tell you the stuff I use and then through the process I'll show you why and how I do these things. So first thing we got our project wood. We have our stencil, we have our tape, our adhesive spray, we have a scraper for normal windshield scraper. And then we have our shop towel and our wood with sandpaper on. So during this process, when I was going through and I was learning how to do scrolling at first, uh, I looked up some videos that talked a lot about how to put these on. And when I did that, I learned that the process that they were using just didn't work for me. What happened is they told you to use adhesive spray on your project paper and on your wood. And when you do that, it works out great. You spray it on there, you wait about 10 seconds, you apply it, and then you wait. And then you go ahead and do your scroll saw and you, and you cut out your pattern. But what I noticed on the end product is when I tried to take the pattern off of the wood, that the glue, no matter what type of glue I used, I used uh, just regular wood glue and then I used uh, adhesive sprays. What I learned is it doesn't come off like, like you think it would. Uh, I used mineral spirits to try to get it off and get rid of the adhesive. And it just wasn't working. The first, the first time I did it, it took almost 30 minutes to get the application off of the wood. And that was using mineral spirits. I used a paint scraper. I used um, a sander and multiple discs. And every time I used a new, a new sanding paper, it would just gunk up from all that goo. So I went through and I learned this process that I'm going to do today. And it really helps me out a lot. And at the end of the project, I peel it off and I'm done. So. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. So what we're doing here is we're going to prepare our piece of wood and this will be our, our surface, our, our, our front surface. But what I did is I got this, uh, I always want to sand this off because there's little burrs and there's little fibers on here that I don't want to have under my tape because it could maybe affect how I, how I cut. So what I do is I just get this block of sandpaper, I sand it down. I keep it with the grain of the wood just like you should anyway. And what happened is uh, I could have went and bought one of these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, but I had a project a couple weeks ago and I ended up making the measurements wrong on the back. So what I did the other day is I just got, I just got some spray adhesive, I put a piece of sandpaper down, I sprayed it with an adhesive, I put this on and then I clamped it around and once it dried a couple minutes later I, uh, I cut it off, I cut the extra sandpaper off the razor blade and it's good. I like doing this just because I know it's not going to slide off and I know I get a wide even area of sanding instead of a small area. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply tape. And the reason why we do this is when we use the adhesive, the adhesive never touches the wood. And Blue Painter's tape sticks and it sticks well, but it doesn't stay on the wood and it doesn't, it doesn't make any marks or anything like that. So when we do this, I want to make sure I cover everything completely. I do want to overlap, but I don't want to overlap too much. I want to make sure that there's not a lot of excess bumps when I'm making my cuts. Now also I want to make sure when I do overlap I don't want to, I don't want to miss a spot because if you miss a spot then you're going to have that a chance for that glue to get through to the wood and although it can come off you just you don't want to waste that time when you're done with the project. You want to look at it, you want to sand it down and glaze it and make it look good. Um, and I'm sure you have people that are waiting for their projects. You don't want to add time to that if you don't need to. Okay, so next thing you want to do is you're going to use a paint scraper. Now I got this paint scraper, it's not a paint scraper, excuse me, um, the windshield scraper. And yeah, you can buy like some kind of scraper or you can buy a uh, something. You can buy anything that could do this. But honestly, I was going through the other day and I was getting my wife and my daughter their scrapers out because it's winter time out here in Suffolk, Virginia. And what I was doing, we had an extra, so I just grabbed it and put it in the, in the work shed. And I'm just going to use it for things like this. And, uh, it's, got, it's got the soft end so it doesn't cut into anything. And I like to repurpose things just like I did with the wood just so I don't have to waste that extra money. You're never going to have a good business or even a good hobby if you're going to be wasting money like that. Alright, now that we've done that, we got, we got the next step is to spray the adhesive tape, the adhesive spray onto your stencil. Now a couple things you want to do, you want to make sure when you have your stencil, i got the horse stencil here, is you want to make sure that you bend a corner or like an edge or something that's not actually part of the stencil because you're going to want to pick this up afterwards and put it on your blue tape 
and you don't want to get that all over your fingers or have a chance for getting stuck on the cardboard or whatever else you're using. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and spray this stencil. As we do that, we want to get a good get a good coat on there, but we don't want to go crazy and overdo it. We don't even need to have two coats. What I usually like to do is to make sure that the paper changes color slightly, and that lets me know that I've got a good clean coat throughout the whole thing. Um, and then we're gonna let this sit for a few seconds, and once we apply this onto the wood, we're gonna scrape it down again, and we're gonna make it nice and calm. Um, for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, once I do this, it really helps keep it flat and keep it level, and then you know if you're gonna have an issue, if you're gonna be doing any stenciling, or you want to do any additions like that, you can always do that right over this because the tape will dry in just a couple seconds. Now one thing you want to make sure you do, you don't, we don't want to push on this because as many times I've had it, it'll cut in and it'll mess up your stencil a little bit. Now the stencil we're using today, um, the reason why we're doing this one, one, of course my friend wants one of these. She has uh, some horse stables and she wants to put this out there and you know, just make it look nice out there. But I just recently bought um, the Flying Dutchman's new spiral saw blades. And I want to try that out on something that isn't too intricate and I don't have to worry about too many sharp edges because I want to be able to use turns and everything like that. Uh, once I try that out with this, I might be able to use it on other projects. What I've noticed is when I bought my uh, scroll saw, it has a multiple options where you can do um, pinned and non-pinned. And I was doing a lot of projects where I just couldn't get those little nooks and crannies. So I made sure I bought um, Flying Dutchman, whoever else, pinless. And it does take a little bit to get it into the scroll saw, if, it, if the scroll saw like I have. But uh, once you get it in there and do those cuts, hopefully we'll see once we do this, see how it works. So uh, that's the end product. Once it dries for a few more minutes, I can start right up. Um, you can always chop this stuff off. I'm not too worried about it. but. This will be the project, and I'll have another video uh, maybe when we start the project, and also another video on how to sand it, glaze it, or put linseed oil on it, just for the small projects like this. Um, I appreciate you taking your time with me. If you got any questions or any comments or any advice for me, please uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, have a good scroll.